Blanket. It's cold out. What's with the overwhelmed pose and expression? I'm depressed. It's school playtime and I should be happy. But it's gonna be about history or eating healthy. And I'll play the back end of a horse and Sissy will direct it and it'll stink! I thought last year's Lewis and Clark go exploring for healthy food and active living was great. Before I map the West by walking, not in a car, let's explore the benefits of eating healthy snacks like broccoli. Dude, that is so nasty. Yeah, well, at least you don't have to eat the healthy snack crud test. Here, have some broccoli. Yeah, you're right. The play was a bit stinky. What are you doing, test? You're supposed to be at play rehearsal. Your plays stink like horse poots. My plays are great. All the parents say they love them. Parents love anything kids do because they don't want to hurt our feelings. But this is my best play ever. It's about how Albert Einstein discovers the benefits of recycling. <laughs> you play a reusable shopping bag. Maybe we should recycle your play into something that doesn't stink. Well, if you think it's so easy, why don't you do it? Maybe I will. Fine. Rehearsal is now, and we perform it tonight at 7. What did I just do? You agreed to write and direct a play that premieres in four hours. Bug! Help me write a play, dog. Just write about what you love. I love monsters who invade planets. <laughs> and explosions. <laughs> Hey, I'll write a school play about an alien monster who invades the school, and I'll call it Alien Monster School Invasion. It's catchy. This is going to be the best school play ever! Where have I seen this before? It's called Chaos, and you need to stop it because you're the director. OK, guys, your new director is here, so let's get started. I'll tell you the meaning of the school play, Johnny Test. He's a new kid with a rare hair disorder. Lights, please. The school play teaches all of us about important historical events we should care about and the joys of the performing arts. But most importantly, the school play gets kids out of classes like math and gives parents a chance to use their expensive video cameras to record their kids one line that they will never watch again. Right. And this year's play is about something we all care about. Evil alien monsters invading pork belly. And it's got explosions. Yeah! Sorry, Johnny. The play has to be about recycling. The school board demands it. OK, have fun, kids. The show's in three hours. Well, I guess we're going back to my play. I'll be right back. OK, the school 
school play is now about Trash Zilla, a cautionary but violent tale of what could happen to garbage that's not recycled. It could take over the world. Explosions! And you'll have this written and costumes ready in three hours? You're in charge of costumes. Now get working, dog! Johnny, got any experiment ideas that will win us the Nobel Prize? We've been focusing on Kiss Gill experiments for so long that we've kind of lost our edge. Johnny working on awesome recycling play about a garbage monster that destroys the Earth. Explosions! We'll dress the kids as garbage, and I'll eat them and be scary and look like this. Best play ever? Here we come! Did Johnny just come up with an amazing idea? Like a gel-based molecular organism that eats garbage, thus reducing waste and saving the Earth? Nobel Prize, here we come! Wait till the world lays their eyes on our globular garbage biofeeder. Its biodegrading gel eats, then dissolves trash, keeping the planet clean and free of harmful waste. It works! <laughs> Because your father and I are off to see your brother's school play. And I got our expensive video camera to record his one line. Be good, girls. Back door. That can't be good. We're used facial tissue? Yeah, it's paper and it can be recycled. Cool! I'm a snot rag! Then you both get eaten by Trashzilla. Huh? We die? Just you two. But I saved the rest of the garbage people by recycling and in turn, save the planet. You didn't write a play about garbage, Tess. This play is garbage. And where's this awesome monster he's been talking about? Behold. <laughs> Trash Stella! <laughs> that is the worst monster ever! What a loser you are, Johnny Test. Do I know you? I'm the new girl, Blockhead. <laughs> Luckily, I have copies of my amazing play, Albert Einstein Discovers the Theory of Recycling. Let's get to work, people! Our parents will be here any minute! I do not like that new girl. And your costume was horrible! Well, what did you expect, Director? You gave me an hour to make it! I was hoping for something like that. I mean... Take it off! Take it off! Don't worry. It only eats garbage, not dogs or people. Um, but every kid in the play is dressed as garbage. Okay, we can worry again! But we've also got the weapons to de-blob the garbage blob. They actually separate paper, plastic, and metal. And you guys are good writers, right? We dabble. I hope this play isn't long and boring like last year. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to... <laughs> Off to a good start. Oh! Cool! Tess did it! It's I... trash silly! And it's awesome! And... Oh! Got it! I might actually watch this video again sometime. Stop right there, trash silly! <laughs> isn't big enough for the both of us. Good opening line. What's next? I have no idea. Quick! We need to recycle this beast before he becomes uncontrollable! What are you doing, Test? Plastic bottles can last forever in our landfills, so we must collect every one and reuse them! <laughs> And metal cans and scrap need to be recycled so we can reduce the stress of mining and manufacturing. Yeah. 
And paper, including snot rags, can be recycled into new paper or added to mulch to prevent soil erosion. And together we can defeat the garbage beast. <laughs> Oh, he saved the snot rag. <laughs> you see, if we don't recycle, the Earth will be destroyed by its own garbage. So true. Not bad, but no explosion. Throw the bag now because the blob self-destructs when it's out of self-stabilizing garbage. Uh-oh. It was so short, and it had an explosion! It was the best school play ever! Awesome school play, Johnny Test! Fortnite element of sing! Glory Test! Why are we singing this song? I'm telling you, I've seen this somewhere before. What's with the uh, doghouse? I have no idea. The game is called Who Can Hold Ice in Their Nose the Longest? And it will be me. <laughs> Go! Brain freeze, brain freeze! Hey guys, how's it going? What's with all the blobby things lately? We're working with a lot of gel-based compounds. We were actually doing another skill experiment and it just snowballed. But look what we found! Johnny X and Super Pooch? No way! They got destroyed, remember? No, we faked it. So now it's time for Johnny X to strike back! But I already struck back. It was like nine months ago against Wacko. So you can strike back again and help your sisters out! No, Johnny, no. I'll need super duper power poots this time. <laughs> If you don't have anything nice or encouraging to say, don't say anything. Ah. Good boy! Now fly, dog! Ah! Ah. Striking back again is gonna be a piece of blobby cake. <laughs> Time to find out just how powerful super duper power poots are! I know I had a 200 megaton poot in me. Well, you won't ever again. Because your mutant experiments are a thing of the past, and we're dismantling it and all of your equipment. This lab is officially shut down. You are forbidden to return. So, you guys are just gonna hang here from now on? We don't know where else to go. I can't believe no more laughs. Ah, huh? And no more experiments to get a kiss from Gil. <laughs> and no more things that go horribly wrong that we have to fix. Susan and Mary and Johnny oh, and uh, Dookie, we need your help. With what? <clears throat> well, in a nutshell, we sort of made our own super mutants with your machine and... Uh, and it went horribly wrong. But now we need Johnny X and Super Pooch to strike back! But they already struck back. Oh, did they? Oh, uh, well, now they can strike back again! We did that, too. Then I'll, uh, strike back one more time! What do these mutant dorks look like? <laughs> they look like that! Oh, and the caves were their idea, not mine! And they're after us! But our mutation laser shouldn't make agents go AWOL and mad for power and destruction. They were actually artificial plasma cyborg agents. Yeah, that would do it. Get down! Just get to the lab and mutate Johnny so he can stop them. You go right at the lab! Right. Man, we 
really messed up today. But you didn't take away the basement submarine station. Run! Get in the sub! Get in the sub! What? I am so hiring you guys when you graduate college. Let's go! What should we do now? Take over the world? Sounds good to me. Okay. Uh, what do we do now? Uh, nothing. Because you took away our lab. But there is a lab we can borrow. Oh, no. I'll let you use my lab and mutant rays if... Susan just kisses me. <laughs> Forget it! Oh, but Susan, the fate of the world depends on it. And my life depends on it. I've waited like four seasons for her kiss, and I'll watch the world burn if I have to. Susan, please. It's for our country. And probably the world. I want our lab back, a shiny medal, and a kiss from Gil next door. I'm a five-star general, not Cupid. <laughs> Fine! Oh, Susan, I've... <laughs> Disinfectant wipe? Thanks, Johnny. Now let's go! You better mutate us up, too. This way we'll have them outnumbered. To Pork Belly! Yeah, and as may. I now declare Pork Belly Super Mutantville because, uh, let's face it, these freaks are too powerful. But not plentiful. Look, it's Johnny X and friends. And I'm striking back again. Didn't you already strike back again? All right, he's striking back one more time. Uh oh, okay. Now give up, Super Mutants. We have you outnumbered. Correction, you have us outnumbered. <laughs> yep, we're doomed. Nope, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this can't be good. They duplicated themselves. I counted eight. And they plan on taking over the world. Here we were supposed to take over China. I thought Fiji would be more fun. With the world's major superpowers and Fiji taken over, the super mutants are now rulers of the world! Can anyone save us? It's a sad day indeed. No, it's not. We just have to outnumber them, which means it's time for Johnny X to strike back again! You already struck back again. And one more time. Then I'm striking back again one more time for the final last time with my ex-friends! Where are we gonna find a mutant army big enough to stop a super mutant army? Hmm. <laughs> what? You're joining my mutant army. Forget it! No, I, I look like a dork. Hey, Johnny. Did you hear the world got taken over? Bummer is right. I need you to join my mutant army and take back the world. A mutant army would be cool, Beans. Johnny Test, I was just plotting to destroy you and take over your world. It's already taken over by super mutants. Huh? Seriously? I was in the bathroom. You want me to play a mutant hero in your next picture? No, I need you to be a mutant for real and help me save the Earth. Uh, can I get a mutant? Monkey. <laughs> Now 
Let's take back the world! And Gil has to kiss us, remember? Kiss him now and I'll give you this shiny medal! It's shiny. <laughs> Speeches! <laughs> Next door! <laughs> Ex-friends, split up! Ruling the world is fun! But saving the world is more fun! I can't believe I'm doing this. Don't worry, they are turning away from us. Ready? Aim! We are in Fiji! We are in Fiji! Knock, knock! Who's there? Super duper power poots! Oh, crud. With the super mutant cyborg clone army defeated and pork belly reconstruction underway, one still wonders who and where are the power pooting heroes that saved us? And wherever you are, Thank you. Once again, I am totally hiring you guys when you graduate college. Okay, everybody say Power Poots! Power Poots! Yeah.